Guardians, what's going on guys? Your boy Sly here and welcome back to another Sly Nation Destiny video. It is Tuesday guys and you know what's up. The reset is upon us so let's check out everything that changes over and see what kind of loot we got waiting for us as well if there's any decent weapon rolls at any of the vendors. And now being that it's so close to Destiny 2 y'all, I don't plan to go over every single one of the weapons like I usually do. Beta is in a week, and then in a month and a half, we have D2. So, my eyes are pretty much going to be set on that. But, speaking of Destiny 2 sweetness, we had some awesome info drop yesterday. We finally got the chance to check out the Sentinel and the Void Warlock. So, Void Walker does indeed exist. On top of that, we had an in-depth look at a new PvP map, as well as the revamped control game type. So, the subclass video will be out sometime today, but the control video is already out for your viewing pleasure. Your pleasure, and you can find that link at the end of the video. Definitely worth a watch, guys, as well as the original videos. But, just a heads up, the power ammo spawn in that video at the beginning of the match will not be there for us. For some crazy reason, Destiny added, or sorry, Bungie added that in for that particular game, the one they're recording for IGN, and they didn't tell us in game that it will not be that way in D2, except for like a little excerpt outside of the video on the IGN webpage. So that was a little odd, but in any case, Big changes, great changes actually, and it looks like a good time to be had by all. But we will find out in seven days, my friends. Okay, anyways guys, let's do the damn thing. It is Tuesday, July 11th, and this is your Destiny Age of Triumph Weekly Reset Guide. Alright, so as usual, we are going to start up here in orbit and check out everything with as far as the weekly playlists go. So, first up, the Crucible. Iron Banner is no longer here, and this week we have... Combined Arms, 6v6 with Vehicles. Nice, that's also where you get your Treasure of the Ages. And for the regular playlist down here at the bottom, we have Clash, Rift, of course Elimination is here until Friday when it changes over to Trials, then Skirmish, and Rumble Supremacy. So those are definitely sweetness. God, actually, I, just, I think I still need Rift. I think I need like a couple more Rift points from my book. In any case... Let's go on to the Nightfall, see what's going to go kick off over there this week, and where are you? So, first up, for modifiers, we have Epic. Heavily shielded, highly aggressive, enemies appear in great numbers. Following that, Solar Burn, solar damage from any source is greatly increased. Keep on going here, Small Arms, primary weapon damage is favored. Fresh troops, enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements, and then of course, the awesome one at the end here, Exposure, Guardian Shields are increased, but do not replenish so solar burn with prime uh, small arms definitely something i've been looking forward to for a while because mythoclast all day of course yes vision of confluence but i mean the mythoclast when can you actually use the mythoclast and like it right now that's when so let's jump in and see who we're taking down this week guardians we've picked up a high gain transmission origin point is somewhere along the coast near the cosmodrome that's Rasputin, the AI Warmind. If I'm understanding him correctly, it's a distress call. And yes, it is taken. So, best thing to do here, guys, grab your uh, solar sword, come over to the end, and just tear these guys to pieces. Because solar, you can just, you know, swipe these guys back to back, especially this captain, and then it is over. Alright, so moving this party along here, next up let's go check out the Sea of a Crisis Heroic Strikes and see what kind of modifiers we have over there. So first up, we have Epic's little brother Heroic. Enemies appear in greater numbers and are more aggressive. Following that, Solar Burn as well. Solar damage from any source is greatly increased, but this one has Specialist. Special weapon damage is favored, and then here at the end, fresh troops. Enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. So that's kind of cool. One has special, one has primary. You could get a nice little uh, nice little mixture there. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at the story playlist. See what we have here. And it is Earth and Moon, so we are back to the beginning in terms of uh, you know, the resetting of this playlist. Earth and Moon is the very first one that appeared week one, so back to the start. And here we have Heroic, Voidburn, and Airborne. So that's pretty neat. Voidburn. I love Voidburn. That means I can use Voidwalker. In any case, Airborne, Perium Bellicose, or Angel of Light. It's always a ton of fun to use. Actually, you get an excuse to use those perks and that exotic, and uh, definitely does more damage. So, something to check out. 
All right, guys, last thing up here we need to check out is the weekly featured raid. Last week's featured raid was King's Fall. This week, we are back to Wrath of the Machine. We have the Vosic Challenge and the Axis Challenge. So, Sparrow, you are mine. All right, guys, well, that wraps up everything here in orbit. Next stop, we're going to the reef, checking out Varix and Madame Petra. So, let's hop on over and see what's going on this week. Alright my compadres, welcome to the Vestian Outpost. So, first up we're going to take a look at Petra and her bounties. Then we'll head on over to Varix and take a look at his bounties as, as well as the featured modifier. Alright, so first up, Queen's Wrath. Let's take a look. We have Take the Wanted, Baroness Greyris, Fire Team. Ah, it's up to you. Following that, Take Them Out Mars, Kill 12 Taken Lieutenants on Mars. Then we have Take Them All, Kill 100 Taken. Alright, here at the end, Queen's Grace, generate 15 Orbs of Light in any Strike playlist. After that, Queen's Harvest, gather 15 Dark Nuclei from Majors or Ultras in any Strike playlist. And then at the end here, we have Queen's Curse, get 30 Void Kills on the Dreadnought. Alright, Petra, thank you, and I will miss you in D2. I miss you, Petra. I miss you so bad. Alright, so Varix, I will grab your box of goodies, my friend. What you got for me this week? Come on! Eh, whatever. Alright, so, four bounties. First up, Deadshot. Kill enemies with precision shots in level 41 PoE or the challenge. You need 75 of those. After that, Light Show. With your fire team, generate orbs of light in the level 41 PoE or the challenge. And that's 100 orbs of light you need to generate. And finally, at the end here, we have Heavy Hitter. Get 50 heavy weapon kills in the same thing. As for this week's super secret modifier, we have... Melee kill bonus. Melee kills are worth more points. And for the remaining modifiers of the Challenge of Elders, we have Juggler and Solar Burn. So a good thing it's melee kill bonus because you're not going to be shooting a lot. Alright, well that's everything here at the Reef. So next stop, let's head over to the Iron Temple and go check out Shiro and Granny G. Alright, welcome to the Fellwinter Peak Iron Temple. So... First up, we're going to take a look at Shiro, and then we'll go up there and see Tyra Karn. Who, by the way, will be our Cryptarch in Destiny 2, if you guys did not see that yet. So, let's take a peek in. First, we'll take a look at bounties, and then the class items. So, first up, for Iron Lord bounties, we have Crushing Blows. Use the Iron Battle Axe or powerful enemy weapons to decimate hostile threats. After that, together we rise, complete five, complete five public events in the Plague Lands. And then we should have a Forge Bounty. Oh, no, pull the plug. Kill Fallen Majors and Ultras. And then a Forge Bounty. Archon Forge Dregs. Get four Dreg victories. All right, so for the class items. First up, Mantle of Galeon for the Hunter coming in at 3134 Intellect Strength. After that, Yolder's Iron Sash, 3232 Discipline Strength. And then here at the end, Scory's Iron Bond, 3135 Intellect Strength. So nothing really good this week. All right, next up, we'll look at Tyra Karn and see what kind of artifacts she has, and hopefully she'll have the one I need. All right, so first up, we have Memory of Yolder, 8174, Discipline Strength. After that, Memory of Silamar, 7794, Intellect Discipline, and then Memory of Teemer coming in at 7677, Intellect Strength. All right, well, that wraps up everything here at the Iron Temple, so next stop is to the tower, my friends. And I will see you there. Alright, welcome to the tower, my friends. So, first up, we're going to take a look at all of the vendors. Take a look at what kind of reputation we can turn in, and then the role. So, first up, take a look at New Monarchy. And let's head over there. Alright, so for reputation, we have Wormspore donation. So, if you need some uh, more New Monarchy reputation, Wormspore is how you do it. All right, so for new monarchy weapons, not really a lot going on this week, guys. The uh, sidearm isn't too bad, but unfortunately doesn't have any range perks. For sights, we have true sight, fast draw, quick draw, following that armor piercing rounds or hip fire. Then we have fitted stock, zen moment, and reactive reload. So it's not too bad, but like I said, it's it's not the greatest. If you use more range and if there were high caliber rounds, of course it'd be better, but all in all, still halfway decent. And the best one this week is the sniper rifle, that's for sure. Everything else pretty much is a waste of time. For sights, we have Hawkeye, Short Gaze, and then Eagle Eye. After that, Skip Rounds or Lightweight. Then we have Perfect Balance, Clown Cartridge, and Unflinching. So, 
I thought that was pretty good. Unflinching with perfect balance, lightweight, and short case. Not a bad sniper rifle. It's not the, uh, the best kind, but a headshot's a headshot, so that's all that matters. And this gives you extra rate of fire. So depending on how bad this ability is or how good this ability is will ultimately determine how good this weapon will be. So... All right, well, that wraps up New Monarchy, guys. Nothing really that great this week, unfortunately. So let's head over to the other side of the tower, check out Future War Cult, Dead Orbit, and the, uh, the Vanguard. Hopefully, we'll see something else better over there. So let's start with Future War Cult over here first. And for reputation donation, we have Spin Metal. So extra Spin Metal, well, this is the place to go. And in terms of weapons, let's take a peek. Woo! So we got a pretty damn good week here at Future War Cult, guys. Not everything is great, but all of these weapons, pretty much every single one is at least decent. A few of them being really good. So we're going to have to take a look at all of them. And starting with the Whale. For sights, we have Steady Hand, Sure Shot, there she is, and Quick Draw. After that, Explosive Rounds or Lightweight. Then we have Hammer Forged, Hot Swap, and hidden hand so a pretty decent whale this time guys all right moving on what's next i think is it the yeah it is the waltz so this bad boy comes with reflex quick draw and then oeg rifle scope after that high caliber rounds which is nice lightweight hammer forged eye of the storm and range finder not bad this is the one that's you know the more mediocre one but still pretty damn good and moving on, I think it's the fusion rifle, right? Yes, this one's also pretty decent. For sights, we have MD Reflex, Red Dot ORA, and then OEG. After that, Accelerator Coils or Snapshot, Snapshot all the way. Then we have Perfect Balance, Performance Bonus, and Range Finder. So, definitely a good one. All right, moving on, I think, was it Keys? Oh, that's right, Scout Rifle. I almost said Keystone. <laughs> so, the Wounded. First up, for sights, we have Red Dot ORA, Range Lens, and then OEG. Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, Small Bore, Triple Tap, and then Crowd Control. This was the second, you know, mediocre roll. The next one is pretty good as well, and we have the Wormwood, which everyone's been waiting for a good Wormwood and a good Warpath. Well, so far, it's not letting you down. We have True Sight, Fast Draw, Quick Draw. After that, Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, Hand Loaded, Relentless Tracker, and then Reactive Reload. So, not too bad. It's not the absolute god roll, but it's still pretty damn good. Reactive Reload with a little bit of extra range and Snapshot. I mean, along with what? True Sight? Yeah, True Sight. So what? I mean, that's, that's good. I don't care who you are. That is a pretty good roll. And finally, the best one this week. Let's talk about that Warpath. So, Tripod and Grenades and Horseshoes, anybody? Yes, sir. We have Aggressive Launch. Linear Compensator, and then Hard Launch. After that, Field Scout, Lightweight, Perfect Balance, Tripod, and then, of course, Grenades and Horseshoes. This right there is the God Roll, my friends. Nothing else gets better than this right here. All right, well, Future War Cult did not disappoint this week, so let's head down the stairs, check out Dead Orbit, and see if they can uh, top that, which I highly doubt. I rock, my boy. What's up, dude? So, first up, for material exchange, we have helium filaments. Extra helium, you know where to go. So, for weapons, let's take a peek. All right, so while we're here, let's go ahead and check out the Extrema file. For sights, we have MD Reflex. Sure shot is, which is good for an auto rifle. And then we have OEG. After that, high caliber rounds, quick draw, small bore, third eye and then hidden hand all in all a pretty good weapon and like i said this uh, archetype along with the bullet hoses are pretty good in the crucible right now so moving this bad boy along let's check out the keystone next and it's a pretty good pretty good roll i wouldn't say it's amazing but it's almost identical to the one from future war cult we have md reflex range lens rls3 and then reflex reflex <laughs> all right so high caliber rounds snapshot hammer forged triple tap and then crowd control. So definitely a great PvE weapon right here. So moving this bad boy along. Next up we have a fusion rifle. The world's to come. Not quite as good as the future war cult. But still nonetheless a pretty good one. We have MD Reflex. Red Dot ORA2. And then OEG. After that accelerated coils. Snapshot. 
small bore or spray and play, and then here at the end, Eye of the Storm, which is the only bad perk. Rangefinder would have been a tie, but Eye of the Storm just took worlds to come out of the picture. All right, so next up, we have a full auto last ditch. Not that great, but still pretty decent. Linear Compensator, Field Choke, Aggressive Ballistics. After that, Flared Magwell, Hip Fire, Hammer Forge, which is great for a shotgun, Surrounded, also pretty good, and then Full Auto. Of course, if Rangefinder was on there, it would be the absolute best, but Full Auto with uh, Surrounded on, I mean, that's actually a pretty fun perk to use if you can get it to work, so definitely worth a look. All right, so what do we have next? The Sniper Rifle, also not too bad this week. It comes with Wild Hawk, Ambush, or Vutac. A lot of stability with that ambush scope. So while it's not as good as the um, the other one, ambush is still pretty decent. So skip rounds, quick draw, small bore, mulligan, and then unflinching. So not too bad. All right, and finally the last one we have what's what's this bad boy called? Unto dust. There we go. For barrel upgrades we have warhead veneers, soft launch, and then countermass. Secondary perks are field scout, quick draw. Javelin, great. Spray and play, also pretty good. And then grenades and horseshoes. No tripod, but still not bad at all. All right, well, weapons this week are rolling, guys. There are some pretty good ones all over the place. So next stop, let's take a look at Vanguard and see if they can uh, keep this train rolling. Hopefully they don't because they have a lot of weapons, and I really don't want to go through all of these. <laughs> all right, so Mr. Roney, what you got for us? <laughs> well, I started to get worried there. Like, the first three weapons are pretty good. And after that, it kind of fell off. So I thought it was going to be like, you know, let's take a look at all of them. Nope. All right. So first up, the first three, we have the Continental, which is probably the most uh, appealing, for at least in terms uh, of what I'm looking for. We have Reflex, Quick Draw, OEG Rifle Scope. After that, Rodeo or Danger Close. Then we have Perfect Balance. Armor piercing rounds and third eye. So, a pretty good crucible roll right here, especially with double stability, perfect balance, and then rodeo. So, all in all, not too bad, my friends. Next up, let's take a look at the Parthian shot, also pretty good this week. We have Red Dot ORA2, Steady Hand is, which is great, and then OEG Rifle Scope. After that, rodeo once again, life support, perfect balance. Appended Magazine, and then a Third Eye. So also a pretty good roll here. All right, and the last weapon that it's worth, you know, looking at, at least in my opinion, we have the Teacup Tempest here. So for Sights, True Sight, Sure Shot, Quick Draw. After that, Mulligan, which is pretty good. Cascade, Hand Loaded, Lightweight, and then Hot Swap. A different kind of setup, but nonetheless, still pretty good. It's not you know the the usual range all you know all the way, but this is a different kind of setup. But I still think it's pretty good when you put all those together. And my friends, that is it for the Vanguard. So next up, we're gonna go take a look at uh, what was it Zavala and Shax, and along with the uh, Crucible Quartermaster, and we'll see what they got for us. So let's head on over there. All right, welcome to the Hall of the Vanguard. First stop, Zavala. Let's see what he's got for us in terms of bounties. They don't usually change, but it's always nice to stop. So first up, Strike Elite. Earn a gold, silver, bronze tier achieved medals. Of course, you need nine of those. After that, Sunrise. Earn a gold tier achieved medal in the nightfall before time expires. And then here at the end, Simply Perfect. Complete Sea of a Crisis Strikes without any member of your fire team dying to earn flawless medals. By the way, it's kind of funny. If uh, if you join somebody right at the very end of a, uh, of a strike, like say they're at the boss and it's like one shot, if you join and kill the boss, that counts as a flawless, uh, <laughs> a flawless strike. So, kind of funny. If you ever need to cheese it, that's the perfect way. Okay, so, Shax, you're up, buddy. Let's see what you got in terms of Crucible bounties. And hopefully, they are something decent. I definitely don't want to see Supremacy. No Supremacy. And first up, Clash. Back to basics. Seven matches complete. 50 primary kills. 25 assisted kills. And then 25 ability kills. After that, a game of Rift. Seven matches complete, 50 primary kills, 25 assists, and one runner stopped. All right, and the last stop for this week, we have our site 99 my homie over here. So let's take a look at his weapons, and uh, I'll let you know if there's anything decent. Okay, and once again, we have some pretty decent weapons. Nothing like, you know, god-tiered, but still pretty damn good. 
First up, Zero Day Dilemma. We have MD Reflex, Quick Draw Is, and then OEG Rifle Scope. Following that is Rodeo, Grenadier, Hand Laid Stock. Look at that stability. And then in reverse of that, we have Rifled Barrel. Look at that range. And at the end here, Glass Half Full. So a pretty good Zero Day Dilemma, especially with that Hand Laid Stock. That stability is insane. All right, next up, the B29 Party Favor. For sights, we have MD Reflex. Sure shot is, which is great, and then OEG. After that, secret round. By the way, never use secret round on a pulse rifle and crucible. Then we have life support, braced frame, which isn't bad, but take a look at the magazine, and then feather mag. This is the only bad part about the party favor. Everything else is pretty good. It's just at the cost of the, uh, you know, your mag, which isn't too bad. I think it's only like, well, I think it's like one extra uh, trigger pull. So it's not terrible, but still. It's a good roll, except for that. So that's what kind of uh, upset me about it. All right, moving this bad boy along here. The hero formula is up next. Red Dot ORA 2, Range Lens, and then OEG Rifle Scope. After that, we have Outlaw, Take a Knee, Perfect Balance, or Explosive Rounds, and then Firefly. So also not too bad. And finally, the Palindrome. Not terrible, it's, it's good, but in a different way. I'll show you why. We have Steady Hand Is, Sure Shot Is, which isn't too bad, and then Quick Draw. After that, Mulligan, which is pretty good, Icarus, Small Bore, but I'd go for High Caliber Rounds, and then here at the end, Reactive Reload. So it's a different kind of setup, but still, nonetheless, not bad. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy good with range, except for, uh, you know, of course, High Caliber Rounds. Small Bore gives you better range, but at the cost of your... Um, you know, of your magazine. I don't know how many bullets. I think they probably gave you seven, which isn't too terrible, but more bullets, the better. So while it's not amazing, it's still not bad. All right, guys, and the last thing to take a look at is something wicked. For barrel upgrades, we have aggressive launch, smart drift control, and then counter mass. That's the one I was trying to think of earlier. After that, spray and play, which is awesome on a rocket launcher, last resort, snapshot, field scout, and then grenades and horseshoes. All right, and that, my friends, wraps up this week's weekly reset guide. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, feel free to come back every week. I always have some Destiny content to talk about, and I cannot wait to start talking about Anthem in more detail. Keep an eye out for more videos coming out of Sly Nation here very, very soon. But until then, this is your boy Sly, and I'll check you all next time.